Hello everyone and welcome back to Omnom Omnivore here in Spore with our Kimqua playthrough and they are doing very very well. Our adaptable little creatures have grown into a strong economic city and uh, we are currently in the process of building up a trade route with this very military city over here and it looks like oh my gosh have we already almost taken them over through trade route. Uh, let's see buy city requires more trade. All right so I think that we have actually actually almost already taken this city over through economic means of trade routes. And that is what we need to do if we wish to keep our young Kimqua straight down the middle line of being economic. And the reason that we would want to do that instead of becoming very religious or very militant is that our goal is to stay in this blue zone all the way into space, when hopefully we will be able to uh, launch into the skies and then use our blue abilities that we have gained through not being too friendly and not being too aggressive in every single stage all the way up into space stage. Once we get to space stage, we can be as friendly or aggressive as we want, but until then we want to try to keep the middle line as carefully as possible. And it turns out to do that in Civ stage, and I wasn't sure how, we just have to make sure that we, yes, all right, we can now purchase this city, no way. We just have to be really careful with our uh, economic abilities. And as long as we take over cities through buying them, then that counts as economic and that will keep us in the blue zone. So already we're ready to buy our first city. Uh, let's offer 16,000 spore bucks and just see if they'll bite for that much. <gasps> they accepted! Oh, oh my gosh, I didn't think they'd actually accept that because I was, I was going for a lower amount. <gasps> Look at all the money we offered them! That is so cool! All right, we have now taken over this military city with uh, economic abilities. So everybody's throwing coins around and having a grand old time. That is so cool. And if we wanted to, we now have a military base that we could use, but we're gonna go ahead and keep everything economic for now. Military city, if you keep the specialty, you can buy military vehicles to conquer other cities. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just try to keep straight down the economic line, I think. So they're gonna give up their military ways. I don't think that the city is really gonna mind that because it means they can give up all of the push-ups and all of the like practicing with their guns that they had to do all the time. That has, however, set upset the uh, yellow nation a lot, it seems. Or is that the orange nation? That has upset the orange nation over here. And they say that our, we're an economic nation, so they like us, but our nation is now too big, our borders are too close, they consider us a threat to them, and we took over one of their spice places. The planet trembles before our mighty Am Ar Armanda. You will not survive. Prepare for war. I'm sorry, did you say something? Alright, so they're going to try to wage war with us, but we can now cause... Uh, let's see, we can do a bribe bomb. And I wish, I wonder if I should have kept the military ability, but I'm not sure if there's a way. I think we can give them a gift to try to calm them down. So let's give them, let's just go ahead and like fork over. Uh, my pleasure. <laughs> Here, take my money and stop being so frustrated. There we go. We have improved relations with them through generous gifting. So we're using money to fix all of our problems, basically. All right, no, stop attacking my cities. Rude. All right, I think our city will be able to defend itself though. So this group is is attacking us, but and our, all of our citizens are a little agitated about that to say the least. Oh, look at him. He's got his hammer out. They're trying to repair. They're trying to repair this factory, our little berry factory that we have. And our, oh no, are they dead? <gasps> That's terrible! We can't ignore that! They not only attacked our city, but they took out some of my citizens. And that just, that's not acceptable. Oh my gosh. We're gonna get another turret down so that if they try that again, we will be all over them. And we are gonna try to take them over through trade routes because we have to continue to use economic ways of conquering that city. If uh, we want, let's see, that's, that's them. We need to pop over to this city. And we're gonna make some new uh, grass chompers, which are our economic vehicles. There we go. And the more of the grass chompers we have, the faster they can come on over to these cities. And we're gonna go ahead and establish a trade route with them. 
And the faster we get these trade routes established, the faster we can take over this city, and the faster we'll be able to uh, claim claim more of this continent under our conquest. I think we'll focus on mostly this continent for now. Everybody's doing push-ups. Is this another military city? This is another military city. <gasps> Look, and they're practicing with their little guns. Oh, gracious. We need to be careful. All right, and speaking of being careful, we also need to work on trying to take over some of the other places, not just like this continent. Oh, look at our little trade route. Hey, don't attack me. Rude. Rude, we should be able to establish a trade route with you without being attacked. Hey, back off. Uh, we do not need trading with trifling civilizations such as yours. No. Oh no, you're gonna, you're gonna trade with me, buddy. You are gonna trade with me. Here, have more money. Okay, I'm pretty sure money can solve everything. Our generous gifts have- Oh, we are almost there, guys! Alright, alright. Let's try this out. Now we're gonna propose another trade route. Come on. Come on! No! My little economic vehicles! Come on! Get a trade route going! Come on, guys, you can do it! We've given them enough money! We should be able to do this. What? Why can't we? Why can't we establish a trade route with them? They're just too militant for us. Dang it! All right, what am I gonna need? An ad blitz? A bribe bomb? The enemy vehicles? Uh, can we use a bribe bomb on this? Is that gonna work? What happens if we use a bribe bomb? <gasps> oh my gosh! What was that? <gasps> it's attacking its own city! Oh my goodness gracious. And meanwhile, we're gonna go back to proposing the trade route. You can you can bribe the other military vehicles. No way, and I'm gonna have to bribe them even more. Okay, so we're just gonna have to keep gifting them. Here's more money. Oh my gosh, so we basically just have to buy these cities out. Oh my gosh, we're so close to being able to start a trade route though. Why? I've always counted on the kindness of strangers. So I'm gonna say we're, we're just like buying them out. There we go. Let's propose this trade route. Trade can uh, only grow our might. We accept. Ha! We're upset you're trading with Orange Nation. We insist you stop immediately. Um, we just don't consider this to be prudent at this juncture. There we go. All right, there we go. So we've calmed down all of their military vehicles that were apparently heading for us by coming over and uh, starting a trade route instead. Very nice. The sooner we establish this trade route wonderfully, uh, the sooner we will be able to... There we go. We'll trade with the city there. Yeah, the faster we can get that trade route going then the better we'll be able to make our city. So, oh, and these guys are having a good time. I need to actually adjust the city a little bit so that they're a bit happier. Can I get some entertainment down in here? Yeah, there you go, guys. You're not very big. This is actually a super small city, so I'm just gonna make them happy and make sure that they're well defended. We have so much money. <laughs> and then we're gonna go ahead and get some more land vehicles. And we're gonna send those land vehicles over to this village. Oh my gosh, this city, I mean, which is under attack. And we're gonna try to take them over before this religious city does. Okay, so things are just like all over the place already. Sorry if it seems a little bit scattered, but we are trying basically to take over, uh, show us the proper respect, Blue Nation. Uh, there, there, we, there we go, there we go, we don't mind, we don't mind. Uh, don't be pushy, don't be pushy. We've given them gifts. They like us because we're an economic nation. They don't like us because we refused to get rid of the trade and because we have grown kind of big now that we have two cities. So we're gonna take over that blue nation as well. It seems that they're a little bit, um, uh, we could use your help. Would you declare war on the orange nation? Uh, no, we don't consider that prudent. So they, they really have a beef with the orange nation. So blue nation is trying to like blame us. They are a religious religious city and it seems to be a really strict religion they've got a lot of population going about but it doesn't look like a very happy place to live oh my gosh all right so we're gonna try to take over the blue people well apparently they're happy Jeez, guys all right and they're on a continent that we have never looked at before they are on this northern continent and they have it all to themselves so they're a northern a northern people 
and they've become very religious in their isolation, which is unusual because the Kimko have never really, never really reflected anything super religious. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna buy more ocean vehicles. I think that that would max out how many ocean vehicles we have. And we're gonna select all of our ocean vehicles and send them on over. And we're gonna propose a trade route with this blue nation. And we're gonna see if we can take over a few of the, um, yeah, we've got a few of the space stations already going. All right, I might need to get more factories put down so that I can be, that I can gain uh, some faster money, but my, my civilization is very happy. Trade can only grow our might, we accept. So Orange Nation's happy with its second trade route we have established. And Blue Nation is trying to reject us for trade, but that won't be hard to fix because all we've learned now, all you have to do is bribe them. So we're gonna come on in and we're gonna go ahead and bribe them. And how much more? Okay, another 4,000. There we go. And I think one more little, okay, one more, one more gift. There, now we'll be able to propose a trade route and get that established over here. And Blue Nation is upset. Sorry, we don't want to do that. But you got to respect our decision. Dang it. All right, we're going to give them 2,000 spore bucks so that they can like us again. They're so upset and we're going to propose this trade route. There we go. And hopefully they won't reject the trade route. There we go. And look at our little ships. They're so cute. Wow, look at them take off. Oh, that's so cool. And they're gonna go off and they're gonna make the trade even stronger. That is so fun. And then, oh my gosh, and Kim Kwa City is celebrating giving increased income. And so the happier my citizens are, the more money they're gonna make for me. Wonderful. And then these beautiful little guys are on our planet and I'm so happy about that. They're so pretty. And they're so happy. I wonder what else is going on here in this, this northern nation. I'm trying to study it up so we can, oh, there's the planet. Soon guys, soon we'll be able to visit there. I'm so happy. Oh, Blue Nation just captured that city we were trading with. <gasps> I wonder if we're gonna keep the trade or not. Oh gosh, and we could buy this city if we wanted, but I need to make more money. I've spent so much money on bribes. Oh no, is this the military? No, Blue Nation, how did they get over here? Oh no. What about this? Am I still trading with them? I have this whole big fleet. Uh, okay, this is my city right over here. And they were trading with this city. I need to buy this city like now. I don't know. I don't need a gift. I don't need a gift. I need to buy the city out. Buy city. Ah, uh, let's wait. Uh, name your price. Okay, what about 8,000? Ah, oh, dang it. We insulted them. No, I, Yellow Nation, don't talk to me right now. All right, so trying to juggle all of these guys when I don't have enough money is a little bit agitating. But let's come on over and we're gonna try. Cause I, ah, oh, dang it, I really needed that city and now I've lost the city's trade route possibility cause I didn't offer him enough money. I wonder, like, yeah, Orange Nation is not gonna give up. Oh my gosh, they are gonna take Blue Nation out. Look at that. So we're gonna come back over and trade with the city. Oh my goodness, because I need to buy this city. And we're just going to have to kind of sit. And while they're all fighting over over different cities, we're going to have to just be very quiet and patient. Work on taking them over through economic gain. Okay, we've got a lot. We've got a lot there. Let's see if we can propose buying this city. All right, 16,000 spore bucks. What do you think about that? Ooh, actually, should I wait? <gasps> they accepted our offer! We have taken over another city through economic means. Look at that pile of money. Who could refuse that cash? <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. And now Blue is gonna have to back off or else they're gonna be messing with the wrong people. Nice. Another city down. There we go. And it's a military city. We're gonna go ahead and make it uh, economic. I feel like I should keep one military city because there's the religious cities are so aggressive and I think everybody else is religious, but this is not one that's on the coast. So there'd be no point. We'll make it economic. All right, we took them over. We did it. Nice. And so the blue nation has given up over there. 
we're celebrating, the main city is celebrating because they're super happy and we're gonna get these people super happy. And hopefully, uh, okay, let's rearrange some of the houses. If I rearrange the houses, we can get more money too. So let's see, put the house here. So now these people are super duper happy. And I don't think I can put any more houses down, unfortunately, but that's okay. So they're good. They've got all the turrets that they need. They've now got their little gardens. We'll, we'll swap the gardens around so they're a little more organized. And rotate, rotate, rotate. So it looks like the gardens are touching one another like so. And there they go. So be happy. Be happy, my new little city. I'm very glad we have Martine, uh, the city taken over. And we've got all these economic trade routes going down. So we're going to take all of these guys. Oh, look at them celebrate because they love us. And because we're we're kind of we're kind of sort of friends with Blue Nation, we're going to come and propose a trade route over here. I'm going to have to make the Blue Nation a little bit happier with us. We could possibly buy out this city of theirs. But I need to wait until we have some more money. So we're going to leave our trade routes be because the trade routes bring in a lot of money if we're patient. And when we take over one more city, we will have level, we'll have four cities and we'll have ad blitz, which is another special ability that we can buy. And if we are really patient, then you can just go ahead and use global merger. And that requires six cities, but I think it just is like an automatic economic win for the entire, the entire world, which would be really cool. Also, look at that! I love this epic! He's so cool! He needs like a little a little zoo of his own or something to live in because he is just awesome. Alright, so we want to build up our funds. Come along, my little cities. Come along. Maybe I should... I think I'm maxed out on the number of vehicles. Oh, I can have more sea vehicles. Just one, but every sea vehicle that we get going... Good! And Blue Nation is still willing to trade with us way over on the end of our continent. But every little trade route piece we get going is one more step closer to having enough money. And if I just focus on gathering up money, then we'll be able to just buy out all of the cities. Ooh, who are these guys? Oh, look guys, it's those little, uh, those little pigs that we had behind our village when we were still just a little tribal stage. Oh, you, are you guys singing to your babies? They have a very, they have a very warthoggy rumble if i could call it that and what else is on this planet so we i wish the cali cats were on this planet but i haven't seen any cali cats i really like the epic that we have the religions of the this continent area whoa whoa chaos absolute chaos they've got these flaming trees they've got the mushroom piles this place doesn't look like it'd be happy to grow up in, if you ask me. They've got these, uh, like, abundant trees up along the ends. What's going on over there? Oh, and it seems like they're celebrating, possibly because they're, like, a religious group. So they're all standing in a circle, throwing, throwing beautiful petals into the air in kind of like this little ritual. That is so interesting to watch. All right, take care of yourselves, little Kimqua. One day I will buy your city out. All right, and we've got a couple cities we can purchase. So I'm gonna need to do that. Might as well do that now. We'll just take over our whole continent for now because then it will allow us to take over a bunch of the spice geysers. Oh dear. Plus it seems like somebody is trying to mess with this city. So let's offer it for 16,000. Wonderful, and we have taken over yet another little city because we got money and we threw it at them and they apparently really like money. <laughs> so I don't think we really had to worry too terribly much. Um, having wealth and riches is all it really takes. There we go. And you guys, we just bought out and we now own our entire continent. <gasps> Airplanes! I totally forgot that it's time to figure out how to fly in planes! The Leo- or excuse me, not the Leo plane. <laughs> the Kimqua can actually already fly uh, with their wings, but they probably get tired after a while. And now they can have uh, air vehicles. And we're going to go ahead and keep it an economic place. 
because now nothing is going to be holding us back from being able just to use our, our economic abilities to pretty much take over the whole world because we can now have planes, which is very exciting. Let's go ahead and just pick out our plane really quickly and we're gonna go with whatever has the best ability for economic uh economic boost and i like the epic transport by the way that was really fun i think we actually used that with the kimqua to imagine that they were transporting their big food resources which is pretty fun um and otherwise there's the sky trader air party the willow wanderer seems pretty interesting Apparently I've never really installed a lot of other people's uh other people's vehicles. The Willow Wanderer seems seems pretty interesting. That kind of seems like something that we would do, but I wonder if there's something that's even more kind of insect shaped, sort of like a little like the paddle plane maybe. Maybe. The paddle plane makes a lot of sense from like an economic point of view. Here's the mosquito RT300 which uh, you know, Mosquito, that makes sense. Oh my gosh, look at the Tower of Airship. <gasps> oh my goodness, let me see this thing. What? It doesn't even have any... It looks like a bunch of birds stacked on top of each other. And it doesn't even have any economic power. Ugh, that wouldn't give us a lot of a boost. Uh, there's also the Diamond Balloon. Let's just peek at that really quickly. It looks like... It looks like Steampunk and a candy shop kind of collided with each other. Interesting. We're, we're just gonna go ahead and, uh, what about the Sky Trader? I'm trying to branch away from my plant loving self, but I just can't, guys. That one's really cool. That one is really cool. Oh dear. Uh, what about Air Party? You know what, Air Party actually appeals to me. Yeah, because <laughs> that seems kind of like it's just got a ton of riches. Like it's really super fancy and all about the money right here. So, hmm, tempted by that too. Um, but I just like the Willow Wanderer. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna use the Willow Wanderer. There we go. All right, guys. So next time we're going to kind of get comfortable with the fact that we have taken over the entire continent now and we're getting slowly but surely ready to take over the whole world. We're building up our funds right now. We can use AdBlitz to enable faster city buyout or we could just wait and global merger is slowly but surely becoming more affordable. So, hmm. Which one should we pick? And look at that. We're starting to get a little bit more of a bird's eye view of space from up here. And soon, soon, we are going to be up in those stars and we are going to be discovering what makes up the Leo Please solar system after so, so long down here on the ground. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.